everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back outside working here at the build site again today. Yesterday was a really productive day. As you can see, I've got two of these floor joist box beams already in place. I'm ready to start nailing together the third one. There are only five for this whole uh, shed, two on either end and then three in the middle. And it's been really refreshing working on this versus working on something that has really specific uh, design guidelines. If you guys recall from earlier in the series, when I was putting together the stairs, I had all these kind of problems uh, where, you know, I couldn't make the stairs that much taller and be able to reduce a whole stair out of it because the rules are the rules and you've got to follow the building codes and everything. This, there's no building permit. I can just do it however makes sense for me. And having that ability to move things like that uh, sometimes yields really great uh, benefits. One thing that I did while I was doing this is I realized that the, the boards I'm going to be using for the interior walls are 10 foot boards and when I was placing down these uh, floor joists which uh, are going to correspond with where the posts are which, which is where the, uh, the boards for the wall nail into I realized that 10 foot boards they'd be a little bit shy of what I need them to be so I was able to just scooch things over on either end and make it so that I can put the boards in perfectly, no scrap. All I moved things over was just like an inch or so. It made it so that instead of there being a span between these of two foot 11, now there's a span of two foot 12, also known as three feet. So by moving things over just a couple of inches here and there, the thing is still totally gonna be way overbuilt. It's gonna be totally strong. It's not gonna collapse because I did that, but it's just really refreshing to be able to make sensible uh, decisions based on you know, different uh, constraints that you may be working with. And you know, taking a little bit from this pile, putting it into this pile uh, and uh, uh, just, really refreshing and it makes things move really quickly you know I instead of me having to go out and be like ah oh, you know maybe I should add a whole extra you know um, you know row of floor joists and and uh, you know beams and everything I can just be like well I'll just I'll just tweak them a little bit and um, it's, it's gonna be totally fine I'm working on number three right here and uh, number three uh, what I'm normally would be doing on that structure is you get two of the two by ten boards uh, next to each other with a two by four running along the bottom I've got a bunch of this scrap floorboard stuff, tongue and groove. I cut the uh, tongue off one side and I'm using them to kind of sandwich into the middle. Now you may say, well that's a terrible, uh, that's a terrible idea because you know, having a bunch of seams in here is not going to be quite as strong. Well, you're getting the strength from the 2x10, not from the 2x4 that's in the middle. The 2x4 is essentially just a spacer and it's totally fine to use up this scrap to, uh, to uh, you know, fill in that gap and make it so you have the little notches where you can put the, be uh, the posts in when you see one of them uh, starting right there. That's not the actual board I'm going to use. That's just a spacer for when I nail it in so I don't you know, uh, crunch it down. But uh, this is going really great. I think by the end of the day today, I should have all the floor joists in. And then I'm going to start working on the decking. The only trick with the decking is that the equipment for the hot, solar hot water system is going to be down in the, like, the basement area of this. And I need to create an access hatch. So somewhere in here, I'm going to have to uh, you know, put some kind of a, I don't know, something so that I can have like a door and I can go down to the bottom. Um, but other than that, I'm going to be able to just tear right through this and get a bunch of stuff done. I don't know, at the end of the day, maybe I get this thing half, half covered in the floor. And that's a good feeling. That's it. Thanks for watching.